from APU International School. My name is Anna, and in this interview, we will be talking about the English Language Development Program, uh, EOD for short. And here with us today are two experienced teachers from the EOD department. Uh, thank you, Guy, for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Sean. I've been working at APU for a year and a half now, round up. Um, I've taught ELD mostly. And I enjoy it. Okay. Uh, my name is Corey. I'm the head of the department, and I've been in Asia for six years teaching English. Uh, so my first question to you two, uh, maybe one of you can answer that for me, is what is the English Language Development Department here at APU? Um, the English Language Development Department here at APU, um, we make sure that the students are prepared for the content classes. Uh, here at APU, we have an international education curriculum um, that aligns with the uh, California State for content. And we have to make sure that the students are prepared, their English is prepared for the math, the science, the history, and especially the English language arts classes that we have here at APU. Thank you very much for that information. Now to know more about the program, uh, can you tell me the process? or the assessment procedure for newly enrolled students? So uh, the first step is that we go through an uh, intake placement uh, test. They have a writing test, a grammar test, a reading test, a listening test, and then they finish off with a speaking test that's a one-on-one -on -one interview with me. Um, based on all of these, uh, based on all of these results, we take each individual situation into consideration and then I make the final call on the placement, uh, which level I believe that they'll be suited for the best. Awesome, thank you for your answer. Uh, I think that is a very sufficient process to help us determine the level of the new student as well. Um, so can you share with us, how can we tell if a student is progressing in uh, the program? What I look for, the English ability, but their uh, responsibility and uh, other like character traits that you look to develop beyond just English. Are they responsible? Are they social? Do they work well with others? Because that's a big part of education too, not just the academics, but learning to work with other people. Um, and we're lucky here, we have a good mix between Vietnamese and Korean students in our class, so we get to make a lot of groups where the students have to speak English. There's no option to communicate in their native language. So I think this helps a lot. and. I look for that uh, when giving grades and really assessing progress. I look for how engaged the student is with other students. Mr. Kirk, do you have any questions? Uh, I have a question. Um, I agree with Mr. Sean that one of the core principles of the ELD program and one of the core principles of APU is that we're not just focused on making the best student. Uh, we're trying to cultivate responsible citizens, uh, not just citizens of Vietnam, but citizens of the world, there needs to be a certain level of responsibility. Most of our students uh, graduate from APU and go abroad, to, especially to America, to go to universities. And for some of the public education students here, they're not really prepared for the rigors that go along with American university life. Um, but here at APU, one of the things we focus on is developing their, their people skills, their cooperation skills, to make sure that when they go abroad, that they will be successful, um, not just with their English speaking, they can have good scores in their grammar, their reading, their listening, but then when you sit them in a room full of uh, native speakers, they freeze up. And we need to, or we try to equip the students with the ability to adapt to those situations. Um, so we're not just making people with good grades, we're helping make better people. So it's a very hands-on process. Yes. Okay.